Hello, it is Monday and it is the final Monday in June, which means it is time for me to talk about my June favourites. The next door neighbour has just started drilling next door, so I apologise if that is a constant presence in this video. Okay, first today I am going to talk about a game. I got FIFA 16 on the PS4. I waited to get this edition of FIFA because this is the first edition with women's football. I'm more of a fan of women's football to be honest, I watch more of it, I know who all the players are. And I think I was right, I'm enjoying it a lot. Also I'm finding this to be a game that I can put down and pick up whenever, which I really appreciate because all the other games I play I'm like really involved in, and they're story based and I have to set aside time to play them. Whereas this, I'm I'm just like, shall I play FIFA for a bit? And then I play FIFA for a bit, and then I don't play FIFA again for a while, and then there comes a day and I'm like, shall I play FIFA for a bit? And then, and then I play FIFA and then the cycle continues. So a couple of live shows now. I loved the Tony Awards this year. James Corden hosted, who I love. Hamilton won a lot, which I love. There were some great performances. Cynthia Erivo performed. I love her. Also, I saw Henry V at the Regent's Park Open Air Theatre. I really enjoyed this production. It starred Michelle Terry as Henry V. She was so good. There were some other gender swaps too, which I thought worked very well. Also, my favourite place this month was the Regent's Park Open Air Theatre. I'd never been there before it's really big, it looks impressive. I was impressed with the seating as well, there was a good view from it seemed a lot of the seats and it was pretty good value. I believe that the sets are normally pretty impressive, the Henry V one wasn't particularly impressive, it was kind of stripped back but I have heard that the sets are normally pretty spectacular. Of course the only downside is the weather, you're open to the elements, so shows can be stopped and started and sometimes stopped completely due to the weather. Also I feel like I should mention the Warner Brothers Studio Tour which I went back to this month. Privet Drive was open for the first time and that was pretty fun. I mean it was only a little bit, it was only a tiny part of the experience, but I like that you can go back multiple times and see different things. I appreciate that they do attempt to show you different things. So my next category is the clothing item category. I bought some Vans and I love them. I wanted some brighter colour shoes, most of my shoes are black and when I'm feeling really adventurous, brown. And I saw these on Bill, the new Doctor Who companion, and I liked them and I ended up just getting the same shoes. Also I got a denim jacket which I haven't worn yet so you can see that it was 19.99 in H&M. So finally, I'm not actually talking about any TV shows this month, what is this madness, but I have watched an awful lot of films. Firstly, Legend, which is on Amazon Prime, it stars Tom Hardy as the Cray Twins. I was worried it was going to glamorise them and their lifestyle and at the start, it looked a bit like it might go down that route, but it didn't and I was happy. Also, I saw Deadpool for the first time. I bought it on DVD and everything. I'm a fan of Deadpool the character and I like the film a lot. It's fun and funny and it's different to other Marvel films and I enjoyed that. Also, Ryan Reynolds is perfectly cast. And finally, I watched The Grand Budapest Hotel, also on Amazon Prime, I think. I was so impressed with that film, just the look of it, the cinematography on that film is first rate. I would very much recommend seeing that if you are interested in film. So that's it for today. I would love to know what some of your favourite things are from this month. I hope you have a great day and I will see you later on in the week.